The Battle of Zella was a battle fought in 47 BC between Julius Caesar and Pharnaces II of the Kingdom of Pontus. The battle took place near Zella, which is now a small hilltop town in the Tokot province of northern Turkey. The battle ended the ambitions of King Pharnaces who wanted to expand his rule over Asia Minor. Chapter 1, Prelude After the defeat of the Ptolemaic forces at the Battle of the Nile, Caesar left Egypt and travelled through Syria, Cilicia and Cappadocia to fight Pharnaces, son of Mithridates Vi. Pharnaces had defeated Caesar's legate Gnaeus Domitius Calvinus, and his small Roman and allied army at the Battle of Nicopolis. He then committed atrocities against the Roman prisoners and against any Roman civilians he found in the region. When Pharnaces received word of Caesar's approach, he sent envoys to seek peace, which Caesar refused outright. Pharnaces had made camp near the town of Zella on the site of a great victory won by his father. His camp was in a strong defensive position, on high ground with a track linking his camp to the town to maintain his supply line. Caesar set up camp on the other side of the valley, but upon his scouts reporting Pharnaces' position he decided to move his camp to the high ground opposite the Pontic camp. The Romans quickly marched onto the high ground and started building a camp. Pharnaces reacted by drawing his army out of camp and put them into battle order. Caesar drew up one line of infantry to protect the workers, but kept the rest of his army constructing the new camp. The Pontic army suddenly marched against the Romans. Chapter 2 The Armies Caesar had a detachment of the veteran Vi Legion, the 22nd Legion, the 36th Legion, and several cohorts of survivors of the army of Domitius Calvinus. He also had a small contingent of cavalry. His army numbered circa 15,000 men. Pharnaces had an army approximately 20,000 strong mostly consisting of tribal and levied infantry, but also containing a corps of professional soldiers, phalangites, legionaries and cavalry. Pharnaces also had scythe chariots. Chapter 3, Order of Battle Pharnaces drew up his army with the scythe chariots in front of the first line which was made up of light infantry and cavalry, the second and third line held the rest of the infantry. After Caesar had rushed his men into position he had the Vi on the right, the 36th on the left and the Galatian legion in the centre. Chapter 4, The Battle Pharnaces' army marched down into the valley separating the two armies. Caesar was baffled by this move as it meant his opponents had to fight an uphill battle. Pharnaces' men climbed up from the valley and engaged Caesar's thin line of legionaries. Caesar recalled the rest of his men from constructing their camp and hastily drew them up for battle. Meanwhile, Pharnaces' scythe chariots broke through the thin defensive line, but were met by a hail of missiles from Caesar's battle line and were forced to retreat. Caesar launched a counter-attack and drove the Pontic army back down the hill, where it was completely routed. Caesar then stormed and took Pharnaces' camp, completing his victory. Chapter 5, Aftermath It was a decisive point in Caesar's military career, his five-day campaign against Pharnaces was evidently so swift and complete that, according to Plutarch he commemorated it with the now famous Latin words reportedly written to Amontius in Rome Veni, Vidi, Vici. Suetonius says that the same three words were displayed prominently in the triumph for the victory at Zella. Pharnaces escaped from Zella, first fleeing to Sinope then back to his Bosporan kingdom. He started to recruit another army, but was soon after defeated and killed by his son-in-law Sander, one of his former governors who had revolted after the Battle of Nicopolis. Caesar made Mithridates of Pergamum the new king of the Bosporian kingdom in recognition of his aid during the Egyptian campaign.